Hey you guys, I'm super excited. I get to go to an estate sale. I haven't been in, to one in a long time. So come with me and we'll see what I find. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's cool. No, not. It's not together. You guys, that estate still had some really nice things. I really want to go back uh, tomorrow because tomorrow's half price day. I think that's normally how it goes. And so I don't know if I'll be able to. However, let me show you what I got as soon as I get home. Okay, you guys, round two. What might you be thinking am I talking about? So I tried to, uh, I recorded this whole haul, uh, this whole haul earlier today. And when I went back to upload it onto my video, guess how much was there? Turns out I did not hit record. I made sure that I hit record this time. <laughs> so, like I said in the car, the estate sale was great. Um, I hope to go back tomorrow and get some of the stuff that was just out of my price range. I might not be able to because the stuff was just so nice that other people might have gotten it. However, let me show you what I got. One of it was this picture. Let me see. There we go. I don't know how old it is. On here it says... Helka Marque de, po uh, de Pose. I don't know. But I kind of liked it. I mean, the frame's not wood or anything like that, but I thought it was I thought it was actually cool. And then I got this picture frame. The picture frames, unless they were otherwise marked, were a dollar each. So I got this one, which I thought was just beautiful. And this one. Now, I don't like what's inside of it. So I'm gonna have to change the um, the artwork out, but I thought that was really pretty. It's gold, it's just, it's really nice. So we'll see what I put in there. The next thing I got, now I don't know what this, 
I got this book. They were $2 a piece. I don't know what this book is about. However, I thought it was a really pretty book and I thought that it could be used for my uh, for my Christmas decor to put some up uh, to put under something. So we'll see where I put that. Another thing I got was this little light. I thought that this was so pretty. I've seen other people that have it. It's kind of crooked. I have to figure out if I could fix this. Um, it does work. I have tested it and I'm not going to test it right now because for some reason there's a red light bulb in it. See, I don't know why. I thought that was kind of weird, but I'll just have to change that out and figure out. So it, it needs to be cleaned, but I know I have, I know where I want to put it. Where I want to put it is in my DIY cabinet. So that is a big O cabinet. It's great. I got it off Amazon. Uh, not Amazon. I got a Facebook marketplace a couple years ago and right now it's so cluttered. One of these days that is going to be another DIY with me because I want to put shelves in there, not shelves, but drawers in there so I could put everything away. So we'll see when that happens. So stay tuned for that. Another thing, I love this, love this. So this, you guys, was one of the reasons why I went there. He is beautiful. He reminds me of the Santa that's on the mantle that you saw. Um, I'll put a picture down here so you could, uh, just in case you don't remember. But the only thing that needs to be fixed is this strap going to his bag. But I thought that he was just absolutely beautiful. And he was only $10. I'm like, okay. Now, last but not least, well, not least as of possibly tomorrow, is this picture frame i thought it was just absolutely beautiful it was 25 dollars, so it has the bride's prayer in it i don't know what the bride's prayer is i've never heard of that however oh you could see my light i got a new light it finally i finally got um because all of the uh I'm sure you noticed that like a lot of times I'm dark in the um in the or there's like shadows on my face in the um in the recording and so I decided to get a light so you could actually see me so yay <laughs> but um I got this picture frame and I thought that it was just absolutely beautiful it needs to be cleaned up the back the back is very dusty but I absolutely loved it and it has velvet black velvet on here and I have a f I think I know what I want to put in there I haven't decided though yet, so we will see what I end up putting in there, but I thought that it was beautiful. And I'm hoping that the prices tomorrow will be cheap enough if they're still there, so that I'll be able to get a thing or two, because I really like some of the stuff. I mean, it was, a it was a great estate sale. The person who had, uh, the person who lived there had quality stuff, so that's always a good thing. So I will see you later. Hey you guys, welcome to day two of this estate sale. I had a lot of fun. I got to take my daughter and she did, she did really great most of the time. So I got a really good haul because it was a um, half day sale for everything. So I was really excited about that. One, uh, a couple of things I got, look at how pretty these are. So these are, I don't know if they're marble. It's like style stone, I think. It says on the back. Um, but I thought that these were really cool. I saw these. I'm so glad that they still had these. Um, I saw these and I really liked them. They gave them to, I didn't know, they didn't have a price tag on these. So they went on ahead and gave them uh, these, sold me these, <laughs> if I could talk, um, sold these to me for a dollar each. I was not upset about that considering the fact that this is actual stone. Another thing that I got that was a dollar, look at how precious this little candle holder is. It's tiny. I thought that it was just amazing and it'll go really good with all my other candle holders. I thought that was, I couldn't pass it up. I thought that was beautiful. Another thing I got, uh, my mother-in-law had seen, she saw a teapot. I don't have it in front of me, um, but it was a Christmas teapot with a, with a saucer and she really liked it uh, in the photos, but she couldn't be there. So I went on ahead and got that for her. Um, one other thing that I liked, I didn't see this until I really got there and got close to it. Look at how beautiful this is. I think it's a reproduction. Uh, I think, yeah. Um, I think it's a reproduction. Um, well, it, it's obviously not, gen uh, it's not the original. Um, it is from, it's genuine oil equals art portraits. I've never heard of that. The, uh, it's the artist sister by Gustav Richter. And it says a little bit about him um, in the painting. It's from like a true American pr uh, production. 
I don't know if it's worth anything. I really like it though. I think it's beautiful. It's moody. It's cute. It's just, I love it. I like it with the frame too. You know how sometimes you see paintings and you just don't like the frame with it? So, or you just like the frame, but you don't like the picture. I like it all. So I was very happy about that. <laughs> so I got, uh, obviously I got this. Um, I really am excited. I have to figure out where to put this. I showed my husband and he's more a gamer, but he really liked this too. So I think it's because of the moodiness of it. The last thing I got, I was so excited about this. This is one of the uh, one of the reasons why I even wanted to go to this estate sale. I'm just looking out the window. I thought that I saw somebody going down the uh, driveway. So I got this. I don't know if you guys know what these are. It's a um, it's a, a painting light. I'm trying to. Uh, I have a hard time with words sometimes. I was, you probably noticed a painting light, and it was attached to the wall. I tried it. It works. Everything's great with it. And this was above, I'm excited to show you this one, if I could get it into frame, ah, there we go. This painting, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I don't know who the artist is, I don't see it on the bottom, so if you guys have ever seen this and know who the artist is, I would love it if you could tell me so I could find out anything about this besides the fact that it's just beautiful. It's very moody. It is oil because you could see like a lot of the brush strokes. Um, the picture frame itself has some damage to it. Not too bad, but if you notice on the bottom, there's damage right here, but I wasn't, I wasn't worried about that. Um, I think that that's really the only damage. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out, I have some other picture frames that I've told you guys about in other videos that I want to fix up. So we'll see when exactly that happens. I don't know when it's going to happen right now because I'm just busy with the decorate with me and everything, which I've been having a lot of fun with. But I really love this. So I'm glad that I got this. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. It, it really needs to get cleaned up though. It's like, it has dust all over the place, which is fine. It's just a little bit of dust. I could vacuum it up. <laughs> so I really had fun. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. And if you have any information about any uh, anything I showed you, I would really appreciate that because especially with this painting, I like to know anything about it. I really like to know the, uh, the history of a lot of the things I got, which is one of the reasons why I like vintage a lot more than just regular. So I will see you guys later. See you in the next video. So the place that I went to today for the estate sale, I have their, um, I got their card from them. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna be putting that on, um, I'm gonna be putting that on a picture here so you could see where, uh, to, so you could check them out and see what they might have because they actually do have auctions online. So I'll have that for them so they could get credit for this.